So my Tales of Sheila Miller Maxwell Collector's Edition finally arrived from France. And no, it's not uh, the one from uh, the Tales store because I found out two, three days before the game was supposed to release that my uh, order had been cancelled because they for some reason couldn't read my card. So I uh, went looking for a place with uh, a pre-order bonus, the themes and uh, what is it called, the costumes. And I even got this little one, this little magnet, Tebow magnet. And to my knowledge there is only 2000 in existence, or at least only at the first uh, 2000 that ordered Tales from, of Sheila from uh, Amazon got it. I also ordered a day one from uh, Amazon Italy to get this little Tibo steelbook, very rare, not available in uh, Great Britain for some reason and hardly available any places, at least with the pre-order bonus. But let's have a look at the uh, European version. And I will point out that uh, there is some major differences between the European and the American one. I will put a little annotation in the button, most likely here, linking to a uh, unboxing video of the American one. But let's see. First thing that is different is that this text is plain in the EU version, while on the American version it is actually, uh, I'm not sure what the name is, I think it's embedded. So when you move your finger over it, you can actually feel the text. Another thing is that in the American version you can open this front and uh, there is some nice uh, printing inside showing the content of the box. But uh, let's turn it around. Yeah. And here we see the content of the box. Another thing is that in the American version, this uh, soundtrack is, uh, what is it called? It is in a jewel case, while in the European it is in, in uh, the game case. Similar to the Tales of Graces Day 1 edition for EU and this uh, art book, it's soft cover while the Americans is the is uh, hard cover. Here we see the two protagonists, Jude, I can't uh, recall his name in uh, German because they changed it uh, in German but that doesn't matter because we all want Mila Maxwell. But shall we have a look in the box? Here is another thing that is different, because in the American one uh, there is uh, a printing of Jude here and Mila here, but that ain't in the European. Another thing is in the American the, there comes two packages Oh well, there's two packages inside here. One here in the left, where you see where it's basically the game, the soundtrack, the the art book, etc. And the other is uh, the figure. But shall we have a look inside? First thing we find is the little nice game. Shall we see if we can get it open? Ah, perfect. Excuse me for a moment. Not cutting too deep. Yes, that really ruins the box. That's what I like with the. Oh, yeah, there is another thing here. Not sure if you can see it. But uh, there is some printing here, basically some singer, and that shouldn't really be there in a collector's edition. It isn't on the American one or the day one, but because that's because 
They want don't say Mila Maxwell Collects Edition, but let's open it. And you will see there's no manual. Uh, there is actually a manual. And sorry for that noise, that is... Because I use my phone to uh, record this and it decided to upload something to my Google Plus. Here we see the, the what is called the game disc. And here we see the soundtrack. It is nice to have it inside the box, but I really would have loved to have uh, what is it called? A jewel case. And next we have this one. Uh, it is my registration to Namco Bandai's uh, website. Then we have the little 100 pages art book and soft cover. Oh yeah. Let's see. Ah, oh yeah, that is right. And here we have the manual. I'm not sure if the manual is in the US version because I see a lot of them uh, missing. Where is that page? There was a really... Ah, oh, there it is. A Tales of Grace's Mang. Sadly, as far as I can uh, see, there's it only out. In, it is only out in uh, France and Germany. But this is basically just what's called uh, how the controllers works and nothing more. So. Nothing special, it's not even colored. And uh, this one is gonna be hell to get up with one hand. Let's see if we can get it up. Uh, okay. Here we, this is the Mila Maxwell figure. I am actually not sure if the the uh, if this uh, figurine uh, what is it called? Where did I lay the little? God damn it! It's the wrong one. Oh, sorry for swearing. Uh, there it is. I'm actually not sure if this ah. Uh, uh, Sorry a moment, as I said, uh, I have to use uh, one hand to hold the camera, but I have to use one, ca uh, one hand to secure this box so I don't uh, damage it. So, I hope you will excuse me for a moment. Uh. And I'm back. Now we shall see if we can get this devil's box up. Yeah, it looks like it. Yes. But uh, as I was saying, I'm not sure if the American one uh, is the same because I heard something about it being more secured than uh, this European version. Basically, you have to almost strip a lot. I will look into that and put a comment about it. But here we see it, Mila Maxwell. The figure, some, uh, the, the reason we all bought this, uh, ah, God damn it. Ah, excuse me again for a moment. Yes, sorry, I'm back. I finally got that uh, figure out. And let's see, I hear someone saying this is pretty, uh, it feels pretty uh, robust. Uh, the reason is that some say 
this uh, hair is pretty weak, but the figure it feels pretty pretty robust, except for this little plastic brick. It feels like there's nothing to it, and as you can see, there is nothing to it. I'm actually thinking it the the what's called the American one has uh, this uh, socket filled out and not uh, just a empty button here but I'll look that up but until next time see ya